How to fix Samsung laptop blue screen. First start your PC and press your F9 key repeatedly to access the automatic repair screen. If your F9 key doesn't work try your other F keys like F8, F7 etc. If you still can't access the automatic repair screen. First start your PC and press the power button while it tries to load Windows to force it to shut down. Do this three times in a row to access the automatic repair screen. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Startup Repair. Select your account. Type in your password. If you don't have one just press continue. Now wait for Windows 10 to be repaired. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work, click on Troubleshoot. Select Advanced Options. Select Command Prompt. Select your account. Type in your password. Now type bootrec slash fix MBR and then press enter. Type bootrec slash fix boot and then press enter. If you get access denied, type the following command then try again. Type bootrec slash fix boot and then press enter. Type bcd edit slash export c colon slash bcd backup and then press enter. Type a trib c colon slash boot slash bcd hyphen h hyphen r hyphen s and then press enter. Type ren c colon slash boot slash bcd space bcd dot old and then press enter.
Type bootrec slash rebuild bcd and then press enter. Type Y and then press Enter. Type Exit and then press Enter. Press Continue to restart. If that didn't work, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Press System Restore. Select your account. Select your keyboard layout. Press Next. Select your latest restore point. Press Next. Press Finish. Press Yes. Now wait for your PC to be restored. Press Restart. Now your PC should be restored. Press Close. If that didn't work, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Command Prompt. Select your account. Type in your password. Type chkdskd colon slash f slash r and then press enter. D, being my hard drive. Yours could be C, or E, etc. Now wait for Windows to be repaired.
Type exit and press enter to leave CMD. Press continue. Now your problem should be fixed.